I've heard a bit about this place before. But the ADDC, isn't it just one part of a larger organization? If I recall correctly, they call it the Medical Institute. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. They own every last inch of this campus. <sighs> it's incredible. Even with all these buildings, they're still getting budget to expand from that new drug. So? Is it the same as you remember? Yeah. Don't go too far ahead! Yagami-san! What are you all shaken up for? Calm down. Just stick with me and you'll be fine. Got that, Yagami? Yagami-san! Try not to just ditch me, okay? Is something wrong? It's just... After three years, it still looks the same. Huh? Almost like time itself has stopped. Yagami-san. Come on. Front desk's over there. That was wild. Right. Where am I going? Oh. Am I going upstairs? It's like, never mind. I need help, please. Oh, sir, please. So move. Do you have an appointment, sir? What? Why is she everywhere, all over this game? My name is Hoshino from the Genda Law Office. This is my partner Yagami. Oh wait, I just got off We're the phone. We're here to talk about a murder that took place in Kamurocho yesterday. A, a murder? A murder. A of ours named Shintani. He was the victim. We have a record that he called this center before he was killed. Yeah. We're hoping you can help us track Don't down lie to exactly me. who he spoke to. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't provide such private information. What? So that's it then. Well, could I at least talk to Director Kido instead? No. He's an old friend of mine. Just let him know Yagami stopped by to say hello. No. I, I don't think that'll be necessary. Look over there. Right up. Oh, yes, yes, the experiment is going marvelously, I must say. Man, those big ass ears. He did it. Yep, he them all. That dude on the left. Yeah, the big ass ears. Alright. Gentlemen, I really don't know what else you want from me. I have nothing more to say. I've told the police all that I know. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this, Director. Problem is, my partner here won't give it a rest till he sees the scene of the crime. But I'm sure we'll be leaving soon. Well, that's not what we agreed upon. You know this isn't about how long it takes. And what about Okubo? I take it he's still not fessed up. Uh, no, not quite as of yet, sir. But we all saw where the body was, exactly where he said it would be. Quite true. Not much point in fighting this now. The minister has made it clear that he wants it resolved soon as well. Just look at how much trouble one contractor has caused. Sorry, which minister? 
I didn't know about this, sir. The health minister. It's all his call how much funding we get. Uh, director, if I may, if you would just direct me to the scene of the crime, I could head over there myself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, I assure you. I'd rather you didn't wander on your own. So instead, she can show you. Terra Sawakun. These gentlemen here are Shintani Sensei and uh Yagami. It's a pleasure. I hope I can help you find what you need. Well, with that I'll be taking my leave. Thank you again, Director. Apologies for all the trouble. This way. I can show you how to get to Wakusan's room. Who's Wakusan? The guy who died in his room? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And you are... Terasawa-san, huh? Wow, you're young. And a looker to boot. Um, can we keep this professional? Huh? Nice try, Shintani-sensei. Not the friendliest girl in town, huh? Well, yeah, curb your enthusiasm. Here. After I busted my ass to pass the bar, I always figured I'd have my pick of the ladies. You're not... You, know, you thought you'd be compensated by fair virgins? Oh. Right this way, please. Oh, okay, yeah, well, that's, that's where I was going. I still can't get used to the honorifics that they use in English. Room is on the fourth floor. Did I need a cutscene for that? No, I guess it's a, if it leads to another cutscene. This was the room assigned to Wakusan. What's down there? That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. Oh. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. Not even I have one. <laughs> gold, huh? I suppose because it's the heart of the center's operations. Huh. Sounds like it's a whole nother world back there. Security like that must be a bitch. Come on, Yagami. Before he died, well, guess where we're going to be going. Most of his time in here. And when was he admitted? Two years ago, with Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia. Yes, in fact, oh. it's the cause of almost seventy percent of all dementia cases. So, they're one and the same, kind of? Anyway, do what you gotta do. Just young. said that it leads to it, dumbass. So... Right up, up. Why is there always a cat? Why the damn cat? What the fuck am I supposed to be looking for? The bed is clean. Where's the cat? Where you at? Forty, you, you old fuck. How about you? No, no, all right. Hey, has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? Nobody, no. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the incident. Yes. That's right. Sure. So he was murdered here, then carried out. I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Mm-hmm. Window sealed shut. There's no way Wakusan could have escaped through here. Says you. Hey, all the rooms have windows like this, right? Seems like people would notice if something was going on in here. 
Well, we only have so many employees in this ward. The halls stay fairly busy, but it's mostly dementia patients moving between appointments. I see. I wonder how the room looks from the hallway. You got all you need from here, yeah? I think so. Why, where you going? You got somewhere to be? I'm gonna go get me a gold pass. Leave me alone. Hmm. You can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani Sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Care to join me, Terasawa san? What do you got to lose? Hey, man, that's sexual harassment. It was a joke. So from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. Hmm. So, was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Of course, that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? No. I know what's going on. The fucker died. Oh. You want to review the... Sure. God. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. All right, here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku, male, age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess burying Waku's body out in the mountains. And lo and behold, three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause of death was most likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. Any objections to this so far, Yagami Sensei? Actually, yeah. You're forgetting something. And what's that? Okubo kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. Sure, but come on, Yagami. The guy's got a history of assault, and it's on record. Roughed up his girlfriend, accidentally broke her finger. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid, got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what, it's okay for a kid to hit a woman? Of course not, but that's not what he's on trial for. True. I don't condone what he did, but legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. Fine, but what about Okubo's shaky alibi? He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. <laughs> We're meeting with Okubo after this, right? You should just be honest with him. Tell him the case is unwinnable. Are you two done here? Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okubo kun parked his truck. The service entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. We'll need to take an elevator down there. 
follow me. Oh, so then we okay. So we following. Yeah, well, are you still back there? So dudes on death. Okay, so I'm wondering, did he actually do it? Damn. I mean, like, hurry up, move your ass. All right, there ain't no fucking way we playing walk simulator with this damn nurse. Bitch. Anyway, I was heading the wrong way anyway. That don't mean nothing. So with this situation, I know we like. You hugging me. You're never going to last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction. Your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Careful who you say that around. Look, just chill out, okay? How the hell did you become a Take fucking lawyer me. then, dumbass? I've been around the block way longer than you have. Okay. So what, you belong to the streets now? Hey, right, so anyway, will we ever... Will that shit ever get resolved? Like the Okobo stuff? Me. We keep talking about it and it keeps getting brought up. No problem if you put a body into your He's not dead here. yet. It's quiet. And homie's on death row. Hey, me. Check this out. So will that case These ever get revisited cheese, if something comes up? Day of the crime. I'm sorry, I'm Okobo was all over the hospital with one of these things. Would have been simple for him to sneak a body in there and cart it right out. Maybe so. But where was Okubo parked on the day of the incident? Oh, um. Oh, wait. The truck was parked here, at the back, facing the elevator. Here's a recreation of it. I see. DNA evidence from the victim was found in the flatbed of the truck. That's proof enough that the body was there. And when they confronted Okobo, he flat out admitted it. Oh, okay. Well, he admitted it was in the truck. Okay, so someone killed him. He There's found out. that the body was in Okobo's truck. Uh-huh. But not evidence that he knew. Well, no, he knew that the body was. <laughs> Hang on, he knew the fucker was dead because he found him in the damn truck. He just didn't know what to do, so he went and buried him out in the, in the damn mountains. But I want to know what happened with him and his girl, cause he's on trial for that. Like, cause I know Yagami, he. I don't know, I could use the touchpad. Because I know Yagami ends up winning the case. I know that. Oi. When was Wakusan last seen? Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, 7.50 to be precise. An ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he saw him nice and cozy in his bed. I see. Can we talk to this witness? No. I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Yep. Said they don't want us interfering with their research anymore. They're not willing to make an exception this once? Nope. This isn't an issue you want to push, Yagami. Worst case scenario, you get charged with witness intimidation. All right, all right. Anyway, the victim was last seen at 7.50. That's right. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock, so the patients who can walk on their own gather in the break room. But on the day of his disappearance, 8.30 came and went with no sign of Wakusan. You thought you'd find him quickly. Didn't exactly turn out that way. Right. Got that, Yagami? Here, let's go over some more details. No, why don't you go over the details? What we know is, 
Kwaku was taken out of his room sometime between 7.50 when he was last seen, and 8.30 when everyone noticed he was gone. During that 40-minute span, somebody suffocated Waku and stuffed him into the laundry bin. Nobody suspected there was a body in the cart. And the only clear culprit was Okubo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Then when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. What an idiot. Three months after the crime, Waku's corpse was finally found. With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but Yeah, but that doesn't say that he killed him. Up already. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. Not the you bitch. Make promises you can't keep. <sighs> Fine, then I'll do it alone. You don't have to be involved. Even yeah, if I'm not. Fuck out of here. Boss will hurt Genda Sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but our client says he's innocent. Yeah. Can't back down from this. Ye. Yeah. Justice. I'll be in the lobby. Yeah, you do that. Bitch. Not her. Shintani. Um, if you like, I could take you to see Wakasan's room again. You don't mind? That would be great. Oh, she gonna help? Why am I back here? Um, are you finished? What the fuck? Not yet. Um. it. Yeah, I've seen. What the hell? I guess it was if it was like I guess to see How the uh. Will Okubo -san's sentence be? The cat. Huh? If he's found guilty, that is. Probably ten years, maybe more. Oof. It's hard to say for sure. Sucks to be that guy. And what if he confesses? Would they shorten his sentence? It was you. At the very least. Why are you asking questions? Better impression than insisting he didn't do it. But you're still going to push an innocent plea, even though Okubo-san is the one who'll suffer for it. If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, Why do you this care? is my first criminal case. Uh, maybe don't what? mention that. Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Terasawa-san, were you close to Okubo-kun? I spoke to him pretty often, yes. I would see him around the ward all the time. And what did you think of him? Did he seem like the kind of guy who'd do something like this? I'm sorry. The director told us not to say too much. So why are you talking to me Wait. then? Get the f get out of here. Stop talking you know to me. Anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? I'll do whatever it takes to set Okubo Kun free, but I can't do it alone. Just give it some thought, Terasawa-san. Just now, we went to the ADDC. Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. And? How did it go? There's no chance you walk. You're practically a lost cause. Hey. Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? It's like this, Okubo. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. It's just like I told you. Whoever did it is framing me. I think I might know how he killed this girl. Or On why. On the day of the crime, 
You were in the general. Hold on. Cause it's it's motherfuckers like Shintani that's probably getting to him. So he probably like snapped and it accidentally killed his girl. I don't know. That's that, that's my working theory. So I guess he did it. <laughs> so I guess he did that one. World War at the ADDC, yes. Damn, hold up. Actually, that's kind of fucked. If he now he's on death row for killing his girl for, for manslaughter or whatever, but how come he? Well, I guess he if he lost uh, the trial. Would the same be for that too? Would he be on death row then? Oh, no. well, whatever. Starting we don't know because Yagami won. Went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, suffocated him, and then carted him out in the laundry bin. That's not true. Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. And I do. So when you went down to leave the center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. I had a criminal assault on my record. I knew the police would have suspected me if I went to them. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Well, yeah, suspected, huh? but not, like, bad you know, blood. arrested. What are you talking about? Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okubo-kun here punched him and stole his wallet. They told me all about it at the center. When did you even ask? While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. Why the fuck does he need a wallet? He and... He Dementia, what the fuck he got a wallet for? He in the hospital, what's, what's he buying? Unless there's something I'm missing. Unless I'm being stupid right now. But why the... No, why did, why did he need a wallet for? It? <laughs> Even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good at my job. Unless you really did that. Well, Okobo-kun, did you take his wallet or... Not quite. They call it delusion of theft. What? It's a symptom of dementia. Yeah, I was about to say. If something's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not what? the easiest thing to deal with, right? So what the fuck are we doing? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason? Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. No. You murdered him. Jesus Christ, man. Kill a man over something like that. Ah, I wish I could believe you, pal. Jesus. Why is he here? You've got a record of violence. It wasn't me. I swear. Somebody set me up. Please, you have to believe me. Whoever did this is laughing at all of us right now. Yagami. Calm down. Get Shintani the fuck out. Yagami Sensei, do you believe me? I do. Okay. And next time, come along. Yeah, you can't keep fucking. Uh, I can take a hint. Yeah, you throw a wheel in. Yagami Sensei can cuddle up all you want. Oh yeah, we gonna do more than color. We gonna win that damn trial too while we at it. Hey, you know that nurse Terasawa-san? Cute girl. Why does that matter? It sounded like she was worried about you. Uh, you have a chance with her once you get out of here. Uh, I don't know. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Speaking of chances, <laughs> Amy Chan. Yeah, I don't know about that one. She dead. I mean, beyond dead. She bled out and am burnt. That girl dead. Oh, we're well, still in the flashback. What so Shintani just left you hanging, huh? Yeah, he a bitch. He's got to learn some damn patience. 
Well, he will now. Maybe so. Well, well, never, because he's this dead is now. This my case now. I can handle it myself. Huh. Okay. If you say so. Oh, shit. Hey, what's up? Hmm? Have you seen Mafia lately? Nope. Well, where's this coming from? She's just not that great with men. I suggest you be more assertive. What? <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, she trying to... You mean that friend of yours, Saurikun? She's got Shintani all riled up. Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. Huh? <laughs> Jackass. Hey, nothing's official yet, guys. Regardless, keep it on the down low, okay? Wait. Yet? That word says more than you think. <laughs> Wait. Is Yagami and... Mafia you going steady? I can't leave. Oh, what the? Mafia Kuhn's a prosecutor, right? Isn't it kind of taboo for her to date a defense attorney? Can we not? Do uh -huh. that? Either way, uh -huh. this the case comes first. Pleading innocent, yeah? That's the plan. Yep. To keep what Shintani out of it, though. This isn't going to be an easy win. Well, I'm working on that. There's one piece of evidence that still bothers me. What that? Yeah. And what's that? I tried to prove him innocent. Intangible. Oh, I can make it to panoramic view. But I'm like, oh my. Uh, and in the words, uh, blah, 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 blah. Nope. What? What does the window have to factor into this? Take a look at this. Oh, yeah. It's Can't see his face. Room the victim was staying in. So we don't know who it is. Place Walker -san was seen before he disappeared. At the time, the witness would have seen Walker -san from this angle through the window in the door. But the cabinet here would have been blocking his face. Uh-huh. In other words, there's room to argue that the witness never actually saw Walker -san to begin with. It might have just looked like there was somebody in there. Or maybe the killer set it up to look that way. And how would that impact the trial? In a big well, way. The premise that the victim was still alive at 8 o'clock would no longer be on the table. Meaning, the crime could have occurred during a much wider time range. With that in mind, we could claim there's no proof that Okubo took Wakusan out of the room. Right. Not bad. What the hell's your problem? Was that Shintani? I think so. Get back here! <laughs> uh, that bastard. Oh, was eavesdropping on you. What the hell? Uh, I tried to stop him, but uh, he pulled a stun gun on me. Uh, hey! Wait up! It run like it. that's a woman. Yeah, let's go. You won't get away. Yeah, I saw that. That was funny. That's why you gonna get caught. That'd be funny if it's not a woman. Um. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. I mean, Yagami, like, goddamn. Catch up, bro. You 
You stabbed my sensei. I mean, shot them. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yo. Please stop running. I didn't even catch up. What the fuck? I didn't even get no SP for that. Dare I ask what the point was? Yeah, you run like a woman. Ha! Woman. Help! Someone help me! Aren't you Terasawa san? Ah, fucking no way. Hey, yo! What you up to, bro? Oh shit! We got a groper out here, scum of the earth. <laughs> Not on my watch, you son of a bitch! What? Street thugs? Man, if you don't get your bitch ass on somewhere. Mm. Dead. Have the goal to judge me on something I did not do? Mm -mm. Come here. Yup. Yeah, enough of that lawyer in business. Mm. Mm. If you don't shut up. Give me that. Hey, you didn't know lawyers did this, huh? You ever heard of Phoenix Wright? Hmm? I'm his brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I won. All right, anyway. I didn't even get any SP. What's the point in even doing any of this? I'm trying to get no SP for the future. Can all lawyers fight like that? Why you stayed? What the hell? Why didn't you run? Unless she didn't do it. Huh. Did you really need to run away like that? I assume you came to see me. There was something I wanted to talk to you about, yes. But I wasn't sure if I should. Then that pig-headed friend of yours started shouting, so I just lost it. Okay, but did you have to tase him? Not that he didn't have it coming. Anyway, I'm listening if you want to talk. No matter what it is, I'll keep your secret. Anything you tell me will fall under client attorney privilege. Well, you know the witness who last saw Wakusan? Said he saw him sleeping in his bed. Uh huh. Well, that witness is a man by the name of Shonosan. He's one of the scientists at the ADDC. Not only that, but he's the director's right hand man, too. This is him? Yes. He's a very dedicated doctor, so the nurses have a lot of faith in him. But something felt off when I heard what he had to say about the incident. And what's that? I guess I'm just skeptical as to whether or not he actually saw Wakusan. I don't think he's intentionally deceiving us, but he may be mistaken somehow. And if I had to guess, I'd say the other nurses feel the same. Still, why hasn't anyone mentioned this until now? How could we? Nurses talking about a doctor behind his back? That's not something a nurse could do without consequences. And if it came to a courtroom testimony... None of you would testify? Maybe the other nurses wouldn't, but I would. I never really fit in over there anyway. Besides... Yeah? I think Okubo-san is innocent. Oh, really? Sounds like I've finally got an ally on my team.
I'm currently employed as a researcher at the Advanced Drug Development Center. Part of our research consists of clinical tests we perform on patients in the general ward of the center. On the day of the crime, I was making my usual rounds through the ward. And what time was that? Around 7.50. You're sure? Yes. The patients eat breakfast at precisely 8 o'clock. I always head to the break room myself, uh, right around then, too. This break room, to be precise? That's correct. Our more mobile patients walk there for breakfast instead of eating in their own rooms. Then, while the nurses help the patients eat, I ask about how they feel and how the medicine is treating them. And on the day of Wakusan's disappearance, you pass by his room before going to the break room? Yes. And in that room, you saw Wakusan lying on the bed? Yes. Can you describe the situation to us as you remember it? The door has a window, so you can see into the room from the hallway. And this is the room you're referring to, yes? That's correct. From where I was standing in the hallway, I could see Waku-san lying in bed. He was asleep, with a blanket covering most of his body. And what time was that? Around 7.50. No further questions. Yagami-sensei. Why did you call her to the stand? She actually asked to testify. Is that a problem? Not really, no. Terasawa-san, you were present for Shono-san's testimony just now, yes? Yes. And what is your opinion on that testimony? For a scientist, I felt his wording was rather imprecise. And as a medical professional, I felt his actions were negligent. Could I ask you to be a little more specific? Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Waku-san sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. However, there's no way he could have known that just by looking in from the hallway. I have evidence supporting Terasawa-san's testimony. Please look at this. It's a photograph of the victim's room as viewed from the hallway. In other words, this is what Shono-san would have seen when he checked in on Waku-san. Shono-san was lying. He said he saw Wakusan in the bed. Excuse me? What he saw from the door was likely nothing more than a bulge of sheets. He couldn't have been able to identify it specifically as Wakusan. So to claim as much in his testimony seems like quite an exaggeration, don't you think? But common sense would dictate otherwise, would it not? Who would be in the bed other than Wakusan? The staff nurses are trained to always enter a room when checking in on a patient. In Wakusan's case, it's impossible to tell anything just by looking in from the hallway. There was actually one time a while back where we thought he was under the covers, only to find Wakusan eating in the break room a second later. And upon re examining the room, we realized that we had mistaken a bunched up pillow for Wakusan. The witness makes an important distinction. The prosecution asserts that Shonosan's testimony is clear. That the victim was taken out of his room at some point between 7.50 and 8.30 in the morning. They claim that because of this time frame, the defendant must have smuggled Wakusan's body out in his laundry bin. But if Shono-san's testimony is invalid, as the defense asserts, we have to consider the possibility 
that Wakusan was taken in the middle of the night when nobody else was around. After which, the killer could have waited until the morning to plant the body in the defendant's truck. In other words, the defense establishes that there is reasonable doubt that Okubo-san is the killer, rendering the prosecution's central argument unsound. Your Honor, taking this new testimony into account, I'd like to call Shono-san back to the stand for cross-examination. Shono-san. Yes? I'll get right to the point. On the day of the crime, what did you see when you looked into Wakusan's room? I saw Wakusan asleep in his bed, I think. And did you get a clear look at his face? I don't remember. So it's possible that it could have been someone other than Wakusan in that bed. Or maybe even a pillow that you mistook to be Wakusan's body. Isn't that right? Objection! The defense is leading the witness. Sustained. Please rephrase the question. Shono-san, can you say without a doubt that Wakusan was in that bed when you checked on him? I... I, I don't think I can, no. Then the defense rests. But I do have a quick remark for the prosecution. Huh? The charges against my client stem from your assertion that he's the only possible suspect, assuming the crime took place within the stated time frame. However, the defense has proven without a doubt that Shono-san's testimony is unreliable, establishing reasonable doubt for my client. I would suggest then, that you withdraw the charges against my client. With such inconclusive evidence, you'll only be wasting the court's precious time. The prosecution does not consider the witness's testimony inconclusive. His memory of the incident may be fuzzy, yes, but that doesn't change that he saw the victim. So, your whole case is based on a fuzzy memory? This promising young man's future is at stake, and you're willing to throw that away on unreliable testimony? Dr. Shono is a bright and diligent researcher. After watching his own grandmother develop dementia, he vowed to create a drug that could cure the disease. Stop sucking his dick, I. He went on to become the head researcher at the ADDC. Day after day, Dr. Shono visits his sick patients out of the kindness of his heart, leading to his valiant testimony here today. If you want to know whether I trust this man, then my answer is a resounding yes. In other words, because he's such a great researcher, his testimony is infallible. His own admission that he's not sure is somehow overlooked? Is that the sum of it? <clears throat> because from here, it sounds like you're putting your faith in Shono-san's title, not his testimony today. The prosecution is not as easily swayed as you think. And you want to talk reputation? What of your client's history of domestic abuse? Six years ago, the defendant broke his girlfriend's finger. Poor girl is still suffering from the effects. She grew it back. What are you talking about? A minor oh, it's that guy. Drunken disagreement. Now, fast forward to what occurred a few days prior to the crime. Wakusan, suspecting the defendant of stealing his wallet, lashed out and punched the defendant in the face. Given the clearly violent nature of Okubo-san here, that alone would be motivation enough to murder the poor old. Oh. I punched him. Is something wrong, ma'am? Please remain seated while court is in session. Is she about to say that she passed him? That'd be funny. Terasawa-san? You punched him. Okubo-san is not a violent person. Oh, okay, never mind. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. Not a single drop since the incident. My court will not stand for this commotion. He didn't blame Wakusan at all. He knew that the outburst was just caused by his dementia. That it was all the sickness's fault. So there was no reason for him to resort to murder. Terasawa-san, 
Please. No, shut up, Yakami. Get the fuck out of my court. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Get out. And even through it all, he wanted me to keep this a secret. Ooh. Not even his lawyer that we were dating. It's a conflict of interest. Get her out. Oh wait, are you Emmy? I just realized that. Even though he knew he could have ended up in prison, making sure I was safe was the only thing in the world he cared about. And that's just who he is. Ooh. Get the fuck out of my courtroom. Well, the prosecution has already decided he's a criminal. How could he possibly be given a fair trial? <sighs> yeah. Okay, now get out. Her little outburst wasn't technically admissible. But as the trial dragged on, it hung over the jury like a stone. And in the end, Shinpei Okubo was found not guilty. Oh, sweet. But only a month after his yeah, case, until he killed that bitch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, outside. The same girl who had so bravely proclaimed Okubo's innocence died by the man's own hand. Yeah, fucking damn. That's uh, that's wild. That's crazy. <laughs>